I'm in the options area for my Aruba Wi-Fi wireless access point, and I'm taking a look at the IP and network assignment. So here we can see that it's set automatically to same as the local network. So what's going to happen is any devices that connect to these wireless access points in my list in this network are going to have their devices have IP addresses on the same subnet as my wireless access point itself. However, I can change that to putting in a different subnet altogether. So I'm on a 192.168.15 network. However, I can have any users that connect through Wi-Fi go to 172.16 instead. And this effectively turns my wireless access point from an access point into a wireless router. So it's going to route from one internal network into another internal network and then out to the internet. Now, this is a popular option for a guest network if you create one because you don't want your guests necessarily on the same internal subnet as your internal users. That's a bit of a security issue. But you can also do this with internal wireless users instead of just doing it with the guest users in case adding in network address translation using a separate wireless network is important to your security. Here, if I go back into same as local network, I can also choose the option for assigning a VLAN to your network. Now, this works great if you're using a type of switch, which is called a layer three switch. A layer three switch acts as a router itself. So instead of having the wireless access point be your router, which routes from one subnet to another subnet, you can just allow the switch to do it instead. And if that's the case, then you're going to have what's called VLAN tagging. VLAN stands for virtual local area network. And you're going to tag these various different ports on the network switch with a VLAN number. So for instance, VLAN 1 could be 192.168.15. VLAN 2 could be 192.168.16 or any other subnet. Some organizations prefer to have their network switch do their subnetting and routing instead of using the wireless access point because they may have other devices that they also need to route and it's easier to manage that way. Having these options allows you to decide whether to assign your Wi-Fi users to the same network or to a different one.